A new type of awards has hit the scene, and that's the Uganda Entertainment Awards. And guess what? I just found out that I was one of the nominees nominated for Best TV Personality of the Year. Well, we managed to check out the nominees party, which was exciting at Club Cyclone. Check this out. Hey, what's up, guys? It's your girl, Angelina. We're here at Cyclone, and you're watching Lurgan with Robin. Get tipsy of NSC. The Uganda Entertainment Awards are being organized and produced by Sense Events Limited. They seek to promote and utilize to exhaustion all the talent that lies untaped in Uganda's entertainment industry. Awards here at Cyclone, and guess what? Me, myself, and my brother Katz here, we are nominated. So, Katz, you are nominated in the category of best male TV personality. For, for someone who has been in TV for a long time, what does this award mean to you? Um, me, every time I'm nominated for any, any award, it's wow, people appreciate me. That's enough for me. I always tell people, um, don't do it for, forgive me, but I say it, that's how I live. Yeah. Don't do it for the bosses, do it for the crowd. Yeah. That's how I live. Uganda has many extremely talented actors, comedians, sportsmen, DJs, MCs, yet many of them haven't been exposed or pushed past their local theater audience, or better still, appreciated for their craft. The UEAs therefore seeks to star Uganda's entertainment ship past the local stage, thrusting it into international limelight with the aim of making the various arts and its entails a sustainable employment venture for all the people involved in the line of production. Jimmy shoes, slim fit jeans, flashy by his seven colored light nose. You're in a big way when it's up your pump. Cool and give your big wow. And guess what? I'm catching up with Angelina, who is nominated actually in the category of Best Artist in the Diaspora. How are you doing? I'm doing fine. How are you? Good. You know, I've been seeing a lot of your music, but I had never actually met you. This is your first time. Nice to meet you. Good to meet you too. So you know what? Doing music uh, abroad and you're doing it for the Ugandan crowd is quite difficult because there, okay, there are a lot of people who live in the diaspora, but there are many more Ugandans down here. How did you manage to capture the audience here? Because they like your music and they, they're blazing it out everywhere. Um, I think it's just um, about being different, trying to find a unique way of you know, standing out. Because at the end of the day, we're all artists. We have to have something unique about us, you know? So, the whole get to learn thing, I try to keep that whole urban thing, and then they keep it Uganda. So, the whole aiming to get Shia in here. I think it captured a lot of people. Yeah. <laughs> Different artists have different nights on a weekly basis in different clouds. Well, guess what? The Good Life Boys have a night at Amnesia where you can go see them on a weekly basis if you're a big fan. We managed to go check it out last week and this is what happened. Life crew now has a new home at Club Amnesia every week where they entertain their fans who can't get enough of their music. The excited fans were singing along to their favorite hits.
and personal performance for the fans whose favorite songs were Nera Nera and Juicy. <laughs> If you are a big fan of the Good Life crew, then catch them every week at this club. We're going to take another quick break, but don't go anywhere because you're still watching Login.